A few weeks ago, we brought you the story of Dr. Nick Furman, a UGA professor who found a unique and interesting approach to teaching his students about agriculture and nature. Well, given the impact he's had on not only his students, but the people around him, we here at The Monitor thought Dr. Furman, a.k.a. Ranger Nick, could teach you, the viewer, a thing or two about the importance of owls both in and around your barn. Hey everybody, Ranger Nick here on the outskirts of Athens, Georgia on a cool wintry day. I want to talk to you a little bit about something that excites me a whole lot and that is attracting owls to your barn or to your farm. We talk about the amount of money that's spent on pest control every year by farmers across this country and it's a lot of money. But I'm going to talk to you about a natural form of pest control that can not only eat up a whole ton of mice and in fact just to give you a little idea a pair of barn owls with six young over a three month period can eat up to a thousand mice. That's an incredible, that's an owl standing form of pest control. We're going to talk about how to build an owl box, where to put this thing, when to put it up, and then what to do if you're so fortunate to get owls to come out to your property. This is one one by ten piece of wood that's about eight feet long. That's all it takes to build this screech owl box. You've got about a 12 inch long board here and I encourage folks to not attach that to anything but make it so that this board can come completely off. If you put this owl box out somewhere I'm going to encourage you to put it somewhere that you can access it because what you want to do is you want to be able to clean the inside of that owl box out. The owls are going to bring pieces of, of sticks and leaves and things in there but they're going to rely on something being there so if you really want to help that owl Put some things in it for them. I've heard of people putting wood chips in there, sticks and leaves themselves. Owls, their beaks aren't really designed to carry pieces of wood, so you can really help them out by building that nest for them. Rely on them to bring very little. Uh, they're definitely freeloaders when it comes to, to folks around the holidays. So you go doing something like this, who knows what you might get living in your little owl box. So let's say you're out and about in your barn trying to find out does an owl in fact live or is trying to live in my barn. I want to show you some things that you can look for, some pieces of evidence to tell you that an owl is in fact in the area. One of the things, and I've kind of taken the liberty today of piling these up, one of the things to look for are, well, hairballs. These are called owl pellets. These are chunks of hair and bones and fur that are actually regurgitated by an owl. So you've got that piece of one by 10, eight feet long, that you've cut down. Maybe you've downloaded instructions offline on how to build a screech owl box. You've done it. You've got this thing done and now you're going to try to figure out where in the world do I put this thing? What did that ranger neck guy say to do? Well, as much as I'd love to tell you that you could put it this high so you could peek right in the hole to see what's in there, uh, you can't do that. You're going to have to put it at least 15 feet off the ground, between 15 and 30 feet off the ground. Put it up there and remember Put it somewhere that you can have access to it. Put it somewhere that you can get up to the ladder and clean this box out. Because year after year, you're going to be wanting to encourage these owls to come back. Here's something cool about owls. Owls mate together for life. And you'll often see the same pair of owls over and over and over again on your farm. Oftentimes, if you're trying to encourage an eastern screech owl, one of the things I can tell you about where to put this box put it 15 feet off the ground, but put it a little bit away from an area where people are going to be walking. If you're looking for some owl standing entertainment, pretty free entertainment to do with your kids or anybody in your family, think about going on an owl prowl. I take my iPhone, I download a 99 cent Audubon Owls app, and you're able to go out and download and play with, for 99 cents, these owl calls. I hook my phone up to a boom box, just like you see, look, like we're out on the street, bebopping out in the woods to owl calls, I hook my iPhone up to this boom box and I simply play the calls. This is an eastern screech owl call. Folks, I've done this and had owls come within 15, 20 feet of me and a bunch of students. They come in, they're very, very curious. Well, there you have it, folks. We've talked about how to build an owl box, where to put this thing, how to determine if you have owls investigating that owl box with owl pellets and feathers. And then we've talked about some fun that you can have with kids or your family and friends, downloading that Audubon Owls app, hooking it up your iPhone up to a boom box and trying to call those owls in. Talk about free entertainment. Just a wonderful thing that you can do. Folks, if you've got story ideas or some things that you've experienced with owls out on your own property, I want to hear from you. 
and I could bring this up in segments we may do in the future, so kind of cool to hear your name on the air. Do me a favor, send me an email to rangernickuga, all lowercase, rangernickuga, at gmail.com and tell me about it. Send me a picture, send me a little story, and we may get the chance to shout out to you sometime in the future. Well, for Georgia Farm Monitor, I'm Dr. Nick Furman, or Ranger Nick, I should say. Enjoy the owls out there.